Inside the National Ignition Facility, called NIF, its main lasers, shown in red, trail close behind the two pairs of rainbow-colored beamlets from the Advanced Radiographic Capability Laser, or ARC. The size of three football fields, NIF is the world's largest and most energetic laser. So, speeding through two of NIF's 192 tubular beam lines, ARC is actually a gigantic laser operating within an even bigger laser. After already being amplified by passing back and forth multiple times in the beam lines and on slightly different paths, both NIF and ARC lasers race to a spherical target chamber 30 feet wide. NIF's lasers will create nuclear fusion and ARC will analyze how it happens. The beamlets enter the compressor vessel, which has four sets of diffraction gratings that squeeze and concentrate the beamlets after each contact. This compression, part of the chirped pulse amplification process, makes them shorter but also extremely powerful. The compressed beamlets travel to focusing and pointing mirrors, which narrow down and aim them into the target chamber and at the arc targets. NIF's optimized main lasers, shown now in blue, have already entered the target chamber and hit the hole rum. Following behind, each arc beamlet pair shrinks and merges together, then strikes separate arc targets, producing two X-ray bursts that enter the hole rum and pass through the collapsing fusion fuel capsule in succession. The matter making up the tiny capsule and fusion fuel create shadows in the X-rays that are captured with an X-ray detector. The radiographs produced by the arc laser reveal what the fusion fuel and capsule look like at two critical times, about 200 trillionths of a second before peak compression and at peak compression. Similar to doctors' x-rays, these two radiographs allow scientists to see the inside of the incredibly dense capsule before it undergoes nuclear fusion, which is the same process that generates light and energy from the interiors of stars. Immediately afterward, the energy from nuclear fusion blows apart the capsule.